Hey guys, Tantrap here, bring you a tour today. We're on Fields of Nick and Donk. I'm actually spawning in the south, we've got NLE Trooper with US Forces, because he's gone for a Pathfinder start. And with him is the Owl, also with US Forces, who has armor, infantry, and urban assault. From the north, we've got Ed A.D. Hertz with OKW, who has Scavenge, Luftwaffe, right Ground Forces, and Soul Breakthrough. And finally, Steiner's Counterattack. Talking to Overwatch immediately here with OKW as well. This is the Patreon back and game in terms of ranks. Uh, I got them, oops, got them up over here. Chupa is 104. Al is 223. Steiner is 150. And it is 175. So it ends up being a pretty even matchup. Listen up, fellas. Want everybody shoot. Steady up, fellas. So yeah, two pathfinders. I'm guessing it's gonna be a third one. That was too easy. Maybe try and go for a bit of an ambush here. Stern Pius, but not really uh, completely around the corner there. They get spotted. Now they're going to duck back behind. Maybe look for a bit of an ambush. Get them close without taking too much damage. It's going after the Pathfinder's head. Getting focused. Nice position here, fighting strongly. Getting off these stern pies very easily, and going into the tech now is Steiner's counter attack. Be getting some decent value here with these stern pies. Get a good chunk of damage. Only dropped one model. Might have to put a seven net crates down though. Heal back up after that. Don't want to be coming in at low health against Pathfinders. There's some heavy cover there. He gets into the light cover though, the Night Trooper. Not so good. Okay, he proceeded up to cap some territory, but left the cutoffs exposed. So, bad fuel control right now for the Allies. Looks like the Stern Pyro fight did enough damage so that it can win against these Pathfinders here. Oh! And good move there from Steiner's counterattack gets into the retreat path and knocks out that uh, one model Pathfinder. Something down the bottom here is going to be fine. Oh wow! He locked into Armor Company. He's got out some Assault Engineers. I didn't see those coming. And for the lieutenant as well. So a bit of a rough start here for the allies. They are now cutting off the axis though. It's going for the mechanized truck. A bit of body blocking here on the stern pies. They're actually taking a surprising amount of damage. We get a wiper in return. Wow, they, those riflemen ran so hot there. I can't believe they got that wipe. They were landing like every single shot, even though they were retreating. That was crazy. But uh, yeah, it was some good body blocking for sure. Yeah, I think Trooper maybe should leave the rear echelon to do some capping and try and advance. Needs to get some territory going again. Mount to this side should be good. Oh, big incendiary grenade value there for Steiner. Captain's coming in, jams the capture. Owl advancing here. Now 
now kind of caught in the open, taking a good chunk of damage with SCGs coming online for Ed as well. Forcing a few retreats. Eager lights now for Steiner's counterattack. Ally is decapping the fuel. So uh, light vehicles probably going to be coming online quite slowly for both teams with all the cutoffs that have happened so far this game. Medics coming online now for Steiner's and after that they're mechanized. Probably can hear shielding, sheer healing a bit. <laughs> <laughs> on this map, quite close base spawn, so that's convenient. Ambulance for the owl. Looks like he's ticked bars now. He's gone for an M20. This is coming in quite late though, I will say. He's also equipped bars on everything, so he doesn't have enough munitions to upgrade with the skirts, which might have been a mistake. Extra armor makes quite a big difference against small arms. But yeah, it's just, you know, maybe about 40 seconds later than you'd hope to get it out. But maybe it doesn't matter too much because the Axis light vehicles are also going to be slow. Running over all types of shoe mines right now. Go for the uh, sweep on this rear echelon once he's got the munitions. Not a good position for these riflemen. Still guys doing big damage. The kitten rolling up. Connects. Right on max range though, so easy back away for the M20. Kills off the uh, cover there afterwards, but. Trooper coming in from the side, forcing away the Raketan. Try uh, speed up repairs, getting the assault engineers into the mix. Big old blob though for Steiner's counter-attack. A half-track for Trooper now. Looks like Steiner's counter-attack going straight into the next tech truck. Both the Axis do have a Raketan and uh, looks about to pop out for Ed now. We have to continue with a few light vehicles. I will say that the Owl is extremely vulnerable to light vehicles right now. She's equipping all these bars. Doesn't have any mines down. Doesn't have enough munitions for snares often. No bazookas. Else there. Really slow start with this M20. A capture point is under attack. Ready for action. This is an aggressive. Okay. <laughs> Yo, he's gonna plant it down here. Quite a forward's position on it. Now M20 getting to work. Nice heavy cover position for the owl. Has to jump out of it though with the incendiary grenade coming through. Okay, half tracks backed away. We do have an AT gun backing this up for Chupa. Pathfinder spotting the looks coming in here. Oh, this is not looking good for Ed. He pops the AP rounds, which is a mistake. Don't need the extra penetration against the looks. It doesn't do any extra damage. So, uh, it's a waste of munitions. Track. Trying to get away from the Raketan. Blasting away at the building. Okay, gets around the side of his machine gun here with the bar squad. Looks coming back in. A half track facing the wrong direction. Oh, but it sets up and fires, and what was. <laughs> what did he do? <laughs> He jumped out and then he he ran away with the crew. What the hell? What was that? 
Looks like Ed kills it off himself. He would have lost his Stampire squad if he tried to jump into here. Oh, what was that? He could have just driven it away. I don't know. Maybe he thought he was going to die and he just wanted to save the crew, but not the case. So this is not good for the Allies. Look at how boxed in they are right now. Oh, boy. Oh, he just got in. Wow. Could have been the end of the M20 there as well. So yeah, the M20 hasn't had the impact. It somehow got up to VET 2 though. Eight kills. Must have been doing well while the basement uh, over here was happening. Now kind of getting shut down by the Raketan though. But yeah, it looks like it's kind of blob v blob at the moment on this side. The old bar blob coming in. Has to run through the flames here. That's a comfortable win for the Owl. Has so much more health on his side. And no STGs on these fox screens either. Maybe the side effect of throwing so many incendiary grenades. It's killing off the building. Takes a very long time to do so with the AT guns though. He's had enough. He doesn't want that turned against him. Once again. He does have the uh, flak gun upgraded on this. Oh. Big damage from that. Going into the middle though with the rear echelon. Allies are down by 75 VPs. Not too bad at this stage. Considering they were almost base pinned there for a couple minutes. You know, with the uh, looks going down and both the axes kind of ticking up at this stage. Gives the eyes a bit of breathing room. A bit of a dicey retreat, but... A lot of shots. Maybe having a bit of trouble. There's a bit of an elevation on the uh, road there. 20 planting some mines now this can be powerful does not have the sweeper on the stern pioneers usually you don't have to worry too much about mines oh wow he put bars on the assault engineers i have seen bar and a flamer don't really think it's that worthwhile Dropping in a uh, machine gun back here. The enemy is overrunning one of our capture points. Twenty working well against just the infantry. Needs that raketan, but it can't find the angle. Doesn't have munitions for a Faust after throwing that incendiary grenade either. Nexus three taking the middle. They almost equalized the victory points just in this uh, little window here where the allies had that triple cap going. Good flank here on the MG. Oh, what was he doing? He tries to set it back up. Likely to get decrewed here, especially with that negative cover. Could even steal that now. He's going to do it. Nothing nearby to uh, really threaten the decrew on it again. Oh, don't see these used too often. Plants one of those flares. Here comes the blob of the owl. Sometimes you have to just fight blob v blob a little bit. 20, getting a little bit of damage on the Raketan. Scott's coming in from the side. This could be a big move for the owl. A lot of pressure on the raquette and early sets up. Faust. It's going to get decrewed here. Okay. Make sure you... Oh, what is... What is this? Okay. 
I mean, luckily these squads retreated, but I'm pretty sure he jumped out of that before they had started their retreats. These US players, man, they're going to be a panic track. attack playing like this. Jumping out of their vehicles. Okay, a second over now for Steiner's counter-attack. So I have the LMG on this one yet. Definitely Steiner's counter-attack. Feeling the impact of throwing so many grenades. Not being able to afford weapon upgrades after that. Maybe a little bit wasteful with them. Okay, they're doing fine for territory control right now. Nothing to stop the M20 though. I should tear these overs to shreds. Surprised he didn't stay like right on top of the overs, like right next to them, trying to maximize his damage. Zul's another Faust though, maybe that's going to slow down the LMG upgrade on the overs even further. Again, the Allies almost getting base pinned once more, and this is going to be a bit hard to break out with Panzer forehead in the field. Luckily for the Owl, you know, he got that Rakitten. Otherwise, he would have almost no anti-tank right now. And that would be a major problem. Oh, he hit the M20 mine with the P4. Oh, man. Tread destroyed. He's got the Sturmpies right there. Gets a folk screen to wipe after that as well. The Rakitten's coming up here. Sturmpo's got the Sweeper, so they got the faster appears, but he drops the Major Artillery down on this area. It's a danger zone. Do you have to appear up to full to get rid of that engine crit? Oh, Tread destroyed, brother. Oh, man. M20 mines. Huge. Coming in big time for the Owl there. Wow. <laughs> 20 kills on that M20. It's uh, going to break the momentum of the Axis a lot. Looks like maybe... Okay, Scott's coming out. He's got a huge amount of manpower floating right now. But he's already got a pretty strong infantry composition. Looks like he's going straight for the King Tiger. He's comf comfortable in this position. Still hasn't selected his commander either. Probably needs a second Rakitten to help uh, really apply pressure to the Scots so it's not blasting them all the time. Just one Rakitten, you know, can get forced away quite easily and then you're in some trouble and you never really... Oh, he's coming in for the crush! Oh! This is the retreats. Oh, the owl, okay, that's what he's playing at. But yeah, you never really threaten the kill on the Scott with just one Rakit neither. Like three shots. It's too easy to avoid, especially once the Scott gets the smoke. And hit one. He's going in for the crush again. Another retreat forced. Steiner paying the price for not rebuilding his Rakitten. He's got plenty of manpower to do so with. Could be a YPIC uh, Chupa lost his re -ishtal. Looks like they ran into maybe a few mines in a row or something. So it worked out well for Ed. He's going to start chipping away at the Schwer here. Does not have enough munitions for RNG bombs. Doing some back capping with the AT guns. I'm on board with it. But the flak base can fight back. M M10 doesn't have very much armor. Jumps out for uh, double time repairs. Could switch the vehicle crews over here as well. Put the M20 crew into the M10. Okay, 
coming in. Yep. Al having to retreat. Al has a huge amount of manpower floating. Really could do with some caches or something. Maybe muni cache help spam some of these P47s in the late game. Okay, here we go. Coming in with a raketon as well. Major's artillery, I believe it is. 20 backs away. It's uh, unvetted major artillery, but okay, the Raketon finishes the job. So, yes, yeah, Steiner taking some big losses. Now, I was worried about that Schwer positioning, and it did end up backfiring. Jumps out with the crew. They've got the Thompsons, remember. But then he steals it. With the Fox Trinity's air, and he gets away with the Fox as well. M10 misses both of its first shots. Oh. Oh. That's one of those moments where you would just be absolutely fuming if you're the owl. Missing both shots like that. That's crazy. He might he did lose some Fox Trinity's over here. Silver lining for the allies. Good hit from the Scott there up to the one now. That's for a bit of a cutoff move. Yep, and it works. M8A1 is on the field. Okay, coming down to the corner there. Two machine guns are gonna be the option for the owl. Spin through some of that manpower. I still do think a cash. Could be nice. I mean both Trooper could also maybe do with a bit more fuel. I'll speed out his Jackson, which I imagine is going to be next. Ready for action. We're going 20 get now there. In Comes around the corner with his units. I've seen the retreat. Decent dodge on the grenade. What? Oh, he, he built an M20. He rebuilt an M20 and put the old crew into it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Well, the owl knows how to party. And uh, he is, well, he's, he's losing a couple of squads away from his focus area at the moment. Two units down like that now. I think they were both Obers as well. Maybe one of them was a Fox screen I'm not sure. Here he goes. He's got the M20 now. Now going for another M10. Volsung Egg again deployed from it, so yeah, he has finally locked into look off for ground forces. Personally, you know, I am preferable to the Obers over Volsung Egg generally, but... Oh! There's the Storm Name 20, also down to double AT guns, just like the other one. Yeah, here we go. King Tiger hitting the field for Ed now. He's hitting his power spike. And uh, double AT guns for Trooper. No munitions for the P-47s yet. Decent last second dodge there. Minimize the damage. He's going for an MTN crush. Both these guys suppressed. Of course, it's the retreat. The double Raketon's not in position to land any damage quite. For another one, it's got to be careful here. Yep. Pick one or two models. No. Just from pure bar uh, firepower, he actually got the kills there. Do have, you know, vet 
three on those units now, so they are heading quite hard to be out. Team coming in, bouncing, AT guns also not having any success. Down. G over here of the hour goes down now. He's out on negative cover as well with this one. This King Tiger just shrugging off all the damage. Even with the AP rounds going. Man, the allies are having a really bad go of it there. Smoke might have saved that Pathfinder on its retreat. The MTM's flanking around. But without some AT gun support, this isn't going to work. KT's too far back. A little bit of damage on it. Forced the KT back for repairs at least. Another 50 cal on the road goes down next. 10. Oh, this looks like it could be the end of it here. Yep. Bad driving from the owl. I don't know what he was up to there. Well, I, I think he wanted to come in for some crush action, but should have seen there are kittens and just got out of there, really. That was not good. He might be able to get this for kitten. Just a decor on it, at least. Tiger's going to try to kill it off. Oh, smoke. No. Goes down anyway. Destroyer ready. There we go, M10 ready. from the out. Smoking it out. Oh, another MTN crush forcing a bunch of retreats. Fortunately, the assault engineers went down over here. Team crush threat, definitely forcing a lot of retreats from Steiner's counterattack. Not getting too many kills, but leading to a lot of territory control. It looks like he did rebuild his Shreya, and he's going to be pushing out a Panther here shortly. And Tiger, nine kills is not too bad considering it's been uh, shot at by like, three anti tank guns in the M10. A lot of smoke coming out from Trooper, and he has managed to save up enough for the P-47s now. Also got a Jackson rolling out, so... See how he applies things. Really need to lean on the long-range vision of these Vietnam Pathfinders. So they can deal damage to the King Tiger, not take any in return. Tense for the hour, but he's kind of burnt through all of his manpower surplus now. You know, 50 cal and 50 cal losses and rebuilds and everything else. 
Yeah, this is where armor often falls off in the late game. These RNG bombs are not terribly good raw. Neither is the bulldozer. Just uh, slowly advancing. Find a lot of pressure at the moment. Oh wow, fighting position over here. Panther comes in to knock it out. Team bouncing. Panther's gonna stay in here for one more hit. No, he lost vision. Team bouncing all of its shots. Can take advancing. M10 and Panther got the same range, so one can shoot at one, and then the other can too. Trying to get some repairs in here. Don't attack ground through that. It's too thick. Okay, Jackson trading. One grenade go off there. Didn't look like I hit too much though. Okay, smoking it up. It goes for a flat half track, that's interesting. Must be expecting the planes coming through shortly. The crew were kissing though, it looks like it's going to get completely destroyed. Not too far forwards, and here we go, M10's going in. Flat half track in some trouble. Uh, the planes are coming in. M10's get behind the King Tiger, but this one with the damage engine is not going to last long. They do knock out the flak half track. Lane's going after the King Tiger. Allies going all in. Managed to save the vehicle crew this time. The owl, it worked out okay for him there. But this was not a good move overall for the Allies. Just going full charge straight ahead. Oh, he managed to save his vehicle crew as well. <laughs> didn't retreat them afterwards I, I don't think it's worth this kind of like last second D crew because if you pop this too early or if the last shot from the tank you're trying to like calculating is going to kill your vehicle misses and then the vehicle falls into enemy hands like you might as well just throw the game like just, just quit right in you know Risk versus reward is not really there for that kind of move. But yeah, I think what the Allies needed to do was ideally maybe hit like one third health off the King Tiger before making a dive like that. Okay, Scott goes down again. It's away from the center of the action, losing a unit. It's just too easy for those kind of charges to go wrong with Faust nearby. And uh, the P-47s only came through for one pass. Seemed like maybe some of the shots were getting blocked by the trees or something as well. He barely did anything to the KT. So that was a big problem. But a trooper did manage to rebuild straight away. He's already at 100 again, so that's... Isn't that Jackson didn't cost him too much?
And the M10s, they are relatively cheap at least. Okay, got the howitzer coming online for Steiner's counterattack now. Just go for a crush. Get this right there. He's got the speed boost though. He's getting out of there. Squad's coming in for a couple of anti-tank grenades, but Panther's got too much health, no engine crit. here. Axis are down by, uh, you know, over 50 VPs at this stage. I'm not entirely sure how the allies have been uh, so competitive at this stage. How building a fuel cache. This is a bit of a strange choice at this stage. It's like the allies aren't really hurting that much for fuel. I thought munitions would have been more helpful. Should be pretty close to another P-47. Three Obers, by the way. Didn't notice he made a third one. Does mean that he is lacking sneering use, though. Just the one fault screen here. So that could open up opportunities for some heroic M10 plays. I suppose at least if the owl saves the vehicle crew, they've got the Thompsons. They're not completely useless. Tiny bit of veterancy, not terribly good barrage there with that first LFH bit of action. Yeah, getting some mines down, that's a very smart play. Panzer Shrek. <laughs> That's a fighting position, mate, not Panzer Shrek. Okay, M10's popping the AP rounds here. Let's allow some decent shots there. We're running into the machine gun as well. KT okay, Force back. Control the VPs right now. Uh, don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. He's gonna do it. And here comes the Panther. Luckily, the M10. The uh, luckily for the M10, the Rakit didn't rotate to face this direction. I thought maybe it could have got a shot in there, and then the Panther could have picked it off and killed it, but. He knew that the M10 was coming, he could see it with his infantry, but it didn't rotate the raquette and... Missed opportunity there. I do like the use of smoke so far from Chupa. They've got switching angles going after... Chupa this time around. Another M10 in the build for the Owl. Mass. He's putting more machine guns as well. It's not a terrible idea. Machine guns can still struggle getting frontally decrewed by high bit overs though. Do need to make sure you're in some cover ideally. If you want to uh, hold ground against them. Just got damage there. Where the AT guns go? Far off. Again, no rotation from the Rakit and allows the M10 to escape. It's gone for a P4 next. And he's getting around the back. He's dropping in some Falshim Jaeger. Deku on one of the AT guns. The P4 is a little bit slow. Okay, gets an attack round into the smoke. Both AT guns go down. Moves looking good for it. I'm a little surprised. Okay, now he's dropping airborne assault a little bit further back. Both AT guns up here decrews. 
Remember, the first pass of anti-tank planes do take quite a while to come through. And no, that was not an MTN. That was a Jackson from the Owl. I can easily steal or kill off these AT guns now, Ed. So you might... You know, it's going to salvage them. Yeah, also a good choice. So it worked out well for Ed, that King Tiger just blasting through the AT guns. Positioning on them, not ideal for Trooper. The page coming down this area now. And Tim goes for a crush, forcing the retreats. And Max is a little bit slow jumping into the central VP. Just over 200 remaining for them. With both AT guns. I thought he might take one of them, but it's all right. Okay, recon pass from the major coming through. Oh boy, this Panther's in a lot of trouble. But oh, he doesn't know what she's doing. Now he's going back for the Panther, but no, the Rakitin's there, so he's. Starting to back, back away. Bit of a dog's breakfast, that attack from the owl. I thought that was the green light for the kill on the panther, but... Ouch. Just put it down. So I to back away. Probably would have lost one of these if he did go for the kill on the panther, but... It was more expensive, and uh, I think at this stage high vest as well, so it's probably a fine trade to make. Now Ed is looking to set up the triple cap. Jackson's advancing. Risky using the uh, Jackson on this amount of health. I think it will get one shot from the KT. Gauging his health bar. Okay, M10's making a play. King Tiger on spearhead mode needs to deactivate that so his turret can spin again. A lot of misses, the KT's in some major trouble. One more. Yes, and the allies take it down. What happened to the mine that was down here? Not sure. But either way, clean kill. B4 was uh, out back repairing. Worked out really well. Good damage there on the Jackson. Need to planes, but yeah, they come in quite slow. That first pass into tank planes, so using it defensively, uh, that can be tough. Just have to stay in the zone for so long. Ten really fast now. I think he wants to go for some more crush action. Trooper loses his captain down here to the Falcon Mega. They're all really up to Vet Four. Didn't feel them that long ago. P Four's coming in. The MTN is so fast that it's got the range advantage. Scoots itself out of harm's way. situation. Uh, probably going to equalize here quite quickly. Now it feels like it's done almost nothing and it, it has done almost nothing. Zero kills. I think after four barrages. Really bad howitzer action from Steiner's counter-attack. Second Jackson picked up now by Chupa after losing the AT guns freeing up some population. German now for the Owl. It's 
still got that Jackson back here as well. It did suffer a major setback in its population. Maybe the Allies have a slight population lead. Out back here, Axis may be a little bit slow getting their repairs done. He hasn't rebuilt his stern piles and he's kind of relying on his teammates and his trucks for repairs. It's probably worth rebuilding. Stern pile, but you know, it doesn't have to worry about sweeping mines anymore because M20 is dead. Neither of these have access to at least proper mines, only the light mines. Echelon could be possible. Okay, it's got to be careful with that P4. Double Jacksons, and they're starting to fit up as well. There we go, a big power spike for it again. The King Tiger, he needs some Rakit and backup for this, though, and he does not have the manpower to build them. There's one over here, though, up for grabs. Counterattack does have a thousand manpower. Oh boy. Okay, Stein's counterattack dropping his planes down. If they go after the Sherman, well, they don't even need to. P4 finishes them off. Can the P4 escape now? No chase from the Jacksons, it does. Oh, and Chupa loses Pathfinders. Look at how fast that M10 is, though, dude. That is. So fast with the high vets and the speed boost. That was insane. We lost a gun crew. Oh boy, Jackson's spinning around on the spot. Oh, what is going on here? Nothing good. Oh, that is just some horror show driving. Might still be able to salvage this though. Oh, maybe not because the anti tank planes are still rolling. Yeah, he just drives into its death. That was really not smart. Meanwhile, the owl has been losing all of his team weapons. Might be able to hold on to this one at least, though. Bit of a throw there with these Jacksons. Neither of them needed to die there with sharper control. It's time to steal away another 50. Does mean that, uh, you know, he's getting close to his population limit. He does really need to push into that last, like, 10 or 15 population, though, to help close out this game. There's going to be smoke covering against the King Tiger. Nice camp. Oh, nice attack round there from the owl, looking for something. Planes are ready to go for Trooper again. have him available for that last engagement. Okay, and the Howie actually gets a kill finally. Nearly decrease machine gun. I was doing a good job contesting the victory point still, but this could be a squad wipe now. The grenade. Oh, he's not focusing on the squad wipe, though. A little strange. Good capping on the edge from it. Try to stay evasive. Those Scots looking for the kill. Oh, wow. The owl went for a bulldozer. <sighs> All right. Well, let's see what he can do with it. Could be decent against the infantry. Let's have a little bit more health as well than the regular Sherman, so. Might be able to survive this Panther. Jackson missing there. Upgrading the 50 cal. That was an attack round attempt. Decent try, but not quite working out. 
Both the tanks are there, and uh, the bulldozer, I think it penetrated that shot as well. I believe it does have deflection damage, maybe like one third of its damage. And it bounces. Team going for a bit of a chase, he popped the AP rounds. Don't know if he'd get the kill with one more shot though, he decides to disengage. It's a safe play, understandable. Meanwhile, Ed's going for the airborne assault out the back here again. Doesn't have anything providing vision though. Here comes the King Tiger now though. Spots the Jackson that has to get out of there. Doesn't manage to shut down the decap. Wow, they were pretty healthy too. Four man rear echelon just bopped off by the P4's gun. It weren't even that clumped up either. That was a crazy shot. Looks like uh, the owl maybe going to rotate. Maybe they're going to try two on one. It is very extended with his tanks. Good backfire on him. He does have the planes ready to go as well. Chupa. A bad start there, double bounce from the double Jacksons inside. Alright, we'll repair up and come back another time. Oh, what a crush! Three models of the Obers down. He's got the speed boost going too. He's looking. Finishes the retreats. Still probably the best vehicle for crushing, I would say, the uh, intent. Okay, smoke out covering the middle. Finds a little bit far back though to uh, cap after that. Uh, branching out to the edge. And the allies are behind on victory points now. Feels like they haven't got like a big kill on any Axis armor for a while now. It's hurting their territory control situation. Hit very far forwards here. Oh wow, he put a flak emplacement guarding this VP. Interesting. Three population, nice take up. Okay, the king goes down. It means the panther's struggling a bit. Well, wow, even with the AP rounds going, panther still bounced there. Can take it in quite far forwards. Away at the fuel cache now. Oh, empty and crush coming in. Doesn't quite work out though around the buildings. And the planes are down from Steiner's counter attack. The empty trying to get away. No dodge on the grenade either, but it's going to survive. Is that the air burst barrage from the stuff? <laughs> what is that even shooting at, dude? His own teammate, that's the only thing. Oh, well, it's a blind on the uh, Scott at least. Friendly's down to 100 points. I say again, allies at 100 points. Allies at 100 points. is there. Okay, planes coming in now from Chupa. And Tim in some trouble. Gets away though. Now the Jackson tagging in from Chupa. Didn't even get a shot and though, lost vision. After the Panther, looks like only one pass coming through there though, and it survives it. Triple cap against the Allies. Steiner lost an over down here as well during all this. Good use of the Blinkerper grenade there. Wow, 
Oh, King Tiger, I think it was on the edge of the circle, but are the planes going to come through for an attack on it? Maybe not. Might have timed out just at the wrong time for the Allies. Big damage on the King Tiger. In fact, most of these Axis tanks are very... Wow, scatter shot from the Jackson lands on the Panther back there. The Allies are making some moves. one on hold fire or something why isn't it shooting oh no King tiger's armor providing just enough resistance for all of this to go wrong before from it now blitzing in and knocks out another J jackson they yeah, guys did here for steiner but a fresh king tiger for steiner he just had so much floating and he's able to clean up a scott as well he's still going M10 in the build for the out. We've still got a thousand manpower, so it's cheaper. Need to maybe get some AT guns coming in. Yeah, the Allies have had rubbish territory control. Lost control of their fuel for a huge dose of time here, so. All those vehicle losses don't have enough to rebuild with. I think that'll probably be the uh, access able to close it out here. Bulldozer are guarding the uh, VP on the edge. But yeah, those dives from the allies, they just didn't work. Tiger armor shrugging off enough hits to slow things down. Even with the AP rounds equipped, you know, it's still bouncing quite a lot. Here comes the uh, Panther that somehow survived, was one shot, but managed to hide itself away from danger. Clean up the bulldozer here. Get five Panther, by the way. Don't see that too often. Saves the crew. And the Panthers got the uh, oh, Panthers machine gun got the wipe here. Panthers just got so much health they can still war with the M10 after this, especially if a few shots bounce off the frontal armor of it. Yep. Both the kills there. Get a cap going here, but not going to happen. And the allies throw on the towel. Some uh, comical moments in this one, I will say that. Wow. When that, uh, when that rebuilt M20 with the salvage crew came back in here and died immediately, that was just way too funny, man. But yeah, so the first tank from Stein's counterattack, the first P4 hitting the M10 mine, no, the uh, M20 mine rather, and then dying. That really allowed the Allies to stay in this one. I think otherwise, it would have been in really bad shape. But yeah, some uh, fun ones. The Allies, I think, maybe a bit too reckless with their dives. They did coordinate them okay, both players attacking at the same time, but you need a bit more to go off you know you can't be just like go you need to either get the king tiger a little bit low first or maybe force some raquettes away so that you know you can come in here without taking as much damage you need like some kind of condition that makes worth makes it worth going in for the dive but yeah uh, the howitzer no good from steiner's counterattack. that was <laughs> not not very impressive but yeah, uh, yeah, nice, nice uh, M10 crush action from the L though. It's good to see this can still work. Yeah, GG. Well, anyway, guys, wrap on that. If you like good game, we cast by me. Details are in the video description below. Otherwise, I'll catch you all for the next thrilling installment. Goodbye and good luck.